not far from where these Yosemite sequoias stand and these monuments have formed, is a place where world-class wines flow as proudly as the Yosemite Falls. So one day you're mountain climbing and the next day you're, you're tasting wine down in the valley. It's a place and an adventure known as the Madera Wine Trail. If Yosemite is on um, you know, the vacation agenda, then certainly the Madera Wine Trail fits into that agenda. After people have been in Yosemite for two or three days, they're looking for an outing. And Madeira is an hour and a half away. It's a perfect opportunity to go do something different. Finding the family-owned wineries along this 40-mile trail, which takes you from 300 to 1,800 feet in elevation, is as easy as following the many signs along the roadways or downloading a map from MadeiraVintners.com. When you arrive, you'll be able to walk inside some of the most unique wineries in the world and dust off and enjoy rare vintage wines made decades ago. Some of the 51s, the 53s, the 57s. You'll also find tasty current vintages, as well as a healthy respect for wines yet to be released. We're laying wines down now for future generations. Many of these family wineries have been producing their award-winning wines in the old world way for generations. Others are newcomers using state-of-the-art modern winemaking equipment and techniques. In many cases, you can sample wine on the farm where the vines are tended and the grapes are harvested. Every barrel and every bottle of wine along the Madeira Wine Trail is fashioned with that extra special touch that can only come from artisans who put their hearts, souls, and family reputation on the line and in every bottle. It does mean a lot to us and I think that puts the extra special effort into it. There's still that real bond, that real connection that I think um, is special about us. And I think if a visitor gets to come down here and talk to us, that would be what would distinguish us. Madera County is one of the oldest wine grape producing regions in California. Its wide ranging microclimates from the San Joaquin River to the Sierra makes this location ideal for the many varieties grown here. We have this alluvial uh, soil that came down from the Sierra Mountains here and kind of piled up in the valley. So you have these deep, deep soils with, uh, with really a lot of rich uh, organic content, which really makes the vines grow extremely well. Most of the wineries in Madera County do practice sustainable farming and minimalist winemaking. So we try to do is, we try to grow good grapes and not screw them up in the winery. That's about what it amounts to. 2006 is in the tank, mm -hmm. almost ready to bottle. Except for a few special events each year, there is no charge to sample the wines along the Madera Wine Trail, which are excitingly versatile and always food friendly. You'll receive personalized one-on-one -on -one attention, usually from the winemakers themselves. When you come out here and you can see the people that are actually making the wine, personally talk to them, ask any question you want, and then get to taste it with these people, with the winemakers. That's, that's the exciting part of the whole thing here. From old world vines and ancient wooden casks to 21st century winemaking and viticultural technologies, the wineries along the Madera Wine Trail are indeed special. You will find plenty of style and variety. You'll also find a very personal wine tasting experience that is as memorable as the national park that sits in its backyard.